exhibition by Ruby Neary. Okay. So it's a two-part show. This is the sculptural part. There is a selection of pastel drawings upstairs. We'll make our little cursory stroll through the uh, installation here. Untitled 2019 Ceramic with Glaze, 50 by 21 by 21. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Ruby is the daughter of Manuel Nuri, who is uh, maybe one of the two or three most prominent members of the early Bay Area figurative artists, and uh, he's also a very important and innovative sculptor in his own right, doing a lot of uh, work that kind of combined uh, the energy of abstract expressionism with uh, sensual figuration. This is kind of funny. Uh, a couple of nights ago, we went to a Jason Rhodes exhibition and he'd collected a lot of uh, tchotchkes, uh, tourist souvenirs and stuff, and uh, one of the piles of accumulated stuff that he had was uh, little mugs that kind of looked like this. This is untitled, ceramic with glaze. This is 59 and 3 quarters by 30 foot by 43 by 29 and a half. Uh, and it's funny because now I'm seeing very similar kinds of, maybe we'll splice some of that in there, <laughs> but you've got a very similar kind of could I call it kitsched figuration, kind of uh, playing on the whole idea of the uh, exploited female image. But this is this has been blown up. This piece is also untitled 2019 ceramic with glaze. 
59 and a quarter by 47 by 33 inches. I was actually up at the um, Yale Museum maybe the summer of 2018 and uh, saw a very nice retrospective exhibition of Manuel Nuri and uh, made me think back to the uh, times that I was studying the university in uh, the early 70s and he was a hot hot artist at the time this is untitled so uh, Ruby's got some nice glazing things happen happening this yellow is kind of zippy. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out how these uh, two figures that pop up here and kind of form this little arch fit into this. It's kind of interesting. I'm wondering if she's... Uh, of loosely basing these on some other stuff or whether she's coming up with the forms herself. This is nice. And uh, one of the other uh, great things about this body of work, gee, is this the artist? <laughs> Might be. Uh, I like the, uh, the reference to the hollowness of the forms, which goes back to her kind of uh, blowing up the coffee mugs or the planter jar. Oh, I like the signature there. Untitled. It's 44 and a quarter by 32 by 27. Yeah, these uh, forms of the handles are nice because uh, although they relate to a mug, then nobody's got a hand that's that big that can use them, but they do have a kind of nice uh, open form. It kind of makes me think of. Uh, Great British sculptor Barbara Hempworth always had holes in her sculptures. Well, this piece caught my eye as soon as I came down here. Untitled Woman Smoking, 2019. I'm not sure, I might have heard this somewhere, but I I guess Ruby is living in LA now, but at one point uh, she was up in the Bay Area and I think was might have been peripherally attached to the uh, mission school, which was a whole group of uh, California street artists and graffiti artists, Barry McGee. Dorothy Kilgallen, these kids. Let's look at the drawings. Okay, well, we'll just make a quick run through of the drawings. Untitled, pastel on paper, 34 by 26. I actually uh, saw some of Ruby's paintings, I believe it was at a group show at Canada, I don't know, a few years back, and I was very impressed. And uh, well, I was kind of thinking that perhaps this might be a painting show. Untitled, pastel on paper, it's 48 by 34. Let's see. Okay, maybe pastel and some colored pencils or charcoal in there as well. Okay, 
I look at this piece and I can't help but think of uh, Picasso from the mid 30s maybe. Just run down the wall here. More untitled. I think I like this one a little more than some of the other ones because we've got more line work. And uh, yeah, I like the way that she's gone over and uh, redrawn some of the face elements and get a little ghost floating there under the surface. Subscribe, recommend it to your friends, post it on all your social media platforms, and you can leave your comments, reviews, thoughts, ideas, criticisms, and such below. We just ask you to say, as always, for 15 years, thank you, Kate. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.